before we get before we get started, I think you promised me that you were going to have a moment of silence for the release of Star Latulale. And I think we added another brick to the wall of Mario's bad jersey collection with Star Latulale. We did. Yeah. We did. Hashtag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. But people are not privy to the information of what my first jersey was. Oh, I don't, I don't think I know this one. My first think... jersey that started the downfall. Oh, is, oh, oh! I know this one. Yeah, never mind. I know this one. Is is a is a Wineski forty two oh, from uh, two thousand and six. Get out of here, Paul Mario. I we talked about this as like a unicorn. I know the fact of how sneaky this is that the Buffalo yeah. Bills have signed a six foot six, two hundred fifty one pound tight end when they more likely are going to be changing up their offensive philosophies into a zone running scheme, which you can have, you know, we talked about it on an episode tipping your hand on uh, available on the, our Patreon account. Uh, one of those episodes that was released only to Patreon members. Uh, we talked about how you didn't want to really tip your hand. If you were going to mm-hmm. run a zone scheme, and you want to have a tight end in there. And we, t- we yep. actually joked about Lee Smith, but the point is if you want to go and join the Patreon and go check out that episode, $7 and 16 cents a month, go ahead. But OJ Howard in this yeah. offense adds a dynamic as you lose Cole Beasley. Mm-hmm. Now, if you want to go to a two tight end set, and you want to have Davis, Diggs, Knox, and Howard. Mm-hmm. You're really putting the defense in a bind of who they got to cover. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, true, true. Let's let's be honest. Howard hasn't really panned out the way a first round pick should have. Right. I, but, Tampa held on to him for a reason, man. Phew, but Tampa the, held on to him for a reason. Just the sheer. Eth- what do the Bills do? They get the athletic freaks at the positions. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, you and just got a first see... round pick, first round tight end. Well, and I remember the OJ Howard draft, right? Because uh, as I'm watching OJ Howard fall, because OJ Howard was talked about as a top ten pick, like OJ Howard was uh, who was the tight end the Falcons just drafted um, this last Kyle uh, Pitts. Yeah, Kyle Pitts. OJ yeah. Howard was was the first the first you know Kyle Pitts. Yeah, and then right? there was Noah Fant, and then T.J. Hawkinson, all right, those guys. Exactly. So in when when. Uh, I remember when Howard started dropping out of the top 15. I think he went 19th overall. Um, yeah. But, uh, man, what a freak this guy is. And play, and we're number eight. A weird number for a tight end. That's besides the you. point. But yeah. I think what's really interesting here is a couple things. One, you sign this absolute mammoth individual who <laughs> runs like a deer, right? Yeah. At the tight end position, he runs like a deer. Um, obviously, you have a little bit of concern over what he's capable of doing from a route perspective because – He's been good at times, but just hasn't been effective, right? Like just not, hasn't been effective. So hopefully we figure out how to unlock that, but you have problems at the guard position, both in the draft. You haven't done anything in free agency besides signing Saffold. And still, you're probably looking some reinforcements are needed there, right? Does going to a two tight end set in a zone blocking scheme, protect the fact that the guard play is a kind of a little suspect. I believe it does. It does, it does too. It does totally. Because you do need a tight end in there at, at some of those times in order to help you out. Yeah, I think now, it does too, Mark. That's absolutely right. That's why the OJ Howard signing is so brilliant to me because this is a sneaky, this is a sneaky play. It is very sneaky I, on a one year deal for three and a half million dollars. We gotta we gotta mention that. And the fact that, you know, this is one of those uh, you know, typical contracts that the Buffalo Bills sign. Hey, you want to prove yourself to the rest of the league and try to resurrect your career? Here's one, here's one of the ways you can do it. Yeah. You can play with Josh Allen. <laughs> Come and play with Josh Allen, you yeah. know? So, you know, it, it is going to take some targets away from Knox, as you know. Howard, I, I like the idea of Howard because the last time Dorsey worked with a tight end that had the same height and weight and physical attributes was Greg Olson in Carolina. Mm-hmm. And during, you know, Cam's MVP season, I mean, here, you're talking about a guy who got 100 targets at least – hundred targets a year in Greg Olson. And I don't expect that for OJ Howard, but 
you have a guy that could stretch the field vertically in the middle of the field to occupy the safeties. Mm -hmm. So Gabe Davis and Stephon Diggs can work on the outside. Mm -hmm. Um, Signing him. Now, you're probably going to fight me on this real quick, but I got to tell you this. You're adamant about the Buffalo Bills drafting a running back or a receiver in the first round, correct? Yep. Does this take a receiver or a running back off the table? I don't think it does, man. I no? don't because okay. if you're going to run two tight end sets, you can't run a slot receiver anyway, right? Yes, true. So, I mean, it's that's what – like think about it this way, right? Buffalo comes out in, in, a, in, a, in you know, a four-receiver set. Let's just say they come out in a four-receiver set, and two of those receivers are Dawson Knox and O.J. Howard. That team, that team on the sideline, the defense could look and say, "Okay, we're going to go a little heavy, right?" By signing OJ yeah. Howard, you force you force other teams into nickel almost the entire time, because yeah. you could just go go four wide with them. You know, OJ Howard ran a four five one in the forty, <laughs> like that's that's crazy speed. That's now, mind fair. that was that was five years ago, right? So let's. Yeah. I'm sure I'm sure he's bigger now, but this was a dynamic you didn't have even on that roster last year. Like no. you were, you were, ho- you you had Reggie Gilliam as your tight end too. You know, like it's just they, there's there was just this dynamic didn't exist, and that's what's so exciting is it's a new wrinkle. And you talk about you have to find ways to change what you're doing. Yes, there's a new offensive coordinator in town, but the talent level, I mean, and the profile, I mean, how could you just not love the idea of this? Oh my god! Yeah, he he opens up so many more things for your offense. Like yeah. now, if I want to run a screen. I'm going to run a tight end screen instead of a running back screen mm-hmm. to Howard yeah. and yeah. put some bodies in front of him or even, or even Howard in front of Knox. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> Man, six, six, you just get behind him. That's you it. telling you me if you go. put a bunch, if you put a trips bunch together with Knox Diggs, and Howard, wh- who are you going to guard? Wouldn't it that- be funny? Wouldn't it be funny if it were uh Howard Knox and then uh, McKenzie uh, oh on the backside God. of that? You're not going to find them. Yeah, you're not gonna right. find him. You're that's not gonna find right. him. I just love the fact that they, you know, they re-signed McKenzie and they get mm-hmm. Howard, who I think a lot of people, because of the Von Miller signing, mm-hmm. it kind of overshadowed sure. OJ. That's well, a one-year deal, you which know, may like, put a chip on the kid's shoulder. I, I hope think. so. Yeah, I hope, I hope so. one year, three and a half million. But that, well, I think is it, he's such a dynamic physical specimen at yeah. the tight end position that if a team is going to find something, it, it, it shocked me that Bruce Arians couldn't find a place for him. You know, it's I think when you look at, yes, that team was really, really successful. Right. Yes. But to not be utilized is frustrating. Right. So yes. he wants to make an impact because he was a huge college player. Like there were yeah. no there were not many players touted as highly as O.J. Howard coming out of Bama. Right. Yes. Like it was it was a different level. And he gets the NFL and just is here. He doesn't want that. Right. He's here because he wants to win and he can reestablish value here. And the fact of the matter is you have Dawson Knox coming up on a contract year soon. You just brought in OJ Howard on a one year deal. Like there's a lot of pressure that is on Dawson Knox now because I mean, I I will be honest with you. People say, well, if you lose Beasley, you have McKenzie to play the slot. They're not the same level of player. It's they do not. They do not. They do not the same traits, the same responsibilities. They Isaiah McKenzie has not played slot for the Buffalo Bills the way that Cole Beasley was intended to do so. And while they could craft the offense around using Isaiah in the slot, the fact of the matter is that OJ Howard is a much more dangerous weapon than Isaiah McKenzie from a personnel standpoint. Right. Like, I think when Isaiah McKenzie was on the field, he only saw what, 24 and 25 percent of snaps the last two seasons. Yeah, like, that. When Isaiah's on the field, it's an easier look for that defense, right? The the, the personnel, they you know what they're going to do. You know what Buffalo's going to do when Isaiah McKenzie's on the field. OJ Howard's on the field. You 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 don't know. This you got to play both, mystery. both sides of the game, right? This is you have to mystery. play the run, right. and, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I could just I could just see so many possibilities for the Buffalo Bills coming up. Now, Howard, we're speaking purely on the potential of the kid, on what this guy could do but this this goes right in line with the buffalo bills and how they value certain positions you know uh you know when they when they drafted um when they drafted allen and edmonds two physical freaks ed oliver physical freak uh you get you you sign von miller now rousseau's a physical freak freak. you know i mean yeah that's what they do spencer brown they're yeah physical freak you know what i mean all those guys so it seems to go in line with listen we're going to get the most physically dominant athlete 
and we have the ability to coach them up. To get I them into absolutely our system. cannot wait to see what what OJ Howard's first reaction is on that first shallow crosser that Allen throws through his physically through his body <laughs> because he's been in there catching slow pitch softballs from old man Brady, right? And don't oh get me my wrong. God, I, you're I know right. I know I know he caught I know he caught Winston. Allen's another level. Just a just another level. It's oh gonna be God. like Happy Gilmore when he's in the batting cage, like standing in front of it, you know, standing in front of the pitching machine taking his lumps. Doesn't it seem amazing the fact that your number one red zone threat is Josh Allen and yeah. always probably will be Josh Allen. Yeah. But the possibility now of spreading OJ Howard out wide for a jump ball oh. is amazing. Oh. It's oh. absolutely that you didn't have that element last year. You didn't. Yeah. Keeps keeps me warm. Thoughts like that keep me warm in the wintertime, Mario. <laughs> keep me warm in All the right. wintertime. Yeah, hashtag nation. Put your thoughts about OJ Howard in the signing and what you what you expect out of him. I mean, we're not expecting a seventy five catch season with a, a twelve hundred yards and fifteen touchdowns. We're not expecting that, but he definitely adds a dynamic to this offense that maybe was lacking prior to it. Eh, we'll see. I don't know.